the challenge. The the one one <laughs> evening in Louisiana, uh, what what brought on this challenge? There was a challenge, obviously, that happened uh, between teammates, between you and Mahmoud Abdurov. Uh, well, at first, it really it really wasn't a challenge. Uh, I was known as a gym rat my first year because uh, I couldn't play. Um, but me being cocky from the East Coast, I'm thinking that there's no Southern basketball player that was better than me, especially at the guard position. Uh, they didn't play against the guys like Malik Sealy, uh, Kenny Anderson, uh, Billy Owens. They didn't play against those guys. So I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think, you know, the caliber of basketball was the same, but, uh, I go to the gym one night, uh, by myself to get some shots up, uh, on the other side of the court was Mahmoud Abdul-Rahou. So we, we really didn't speak too much when we, our first interaction. So I'm looking down at him. He's making shots. I'm making shots. So I said, you know what, let me test him, see how good he's really is. I, you know, I, I read all the hype about him. Uh, McDonald's All-American and Player of the Year in Mississippi. So let me see the, what the hype is all about. And I asked him, yo, let's play one-on-one. That's, you know, being sarcastic. So we played one-on-one for about almost an hour. And, and this guy was unbelievable. I'd never seen somebody shoot as well as he was shooting outside of my father. I didn't, I'd never seen, seen it. And within that hour, I probably won one or two games, and we were playing to like 11. <laughs> how many games total do you think you played? Uh, I can't recall exactly how many games we played, but let's just say it was a lot of games we played. And it's like, you know, my thing was the first couple of points of during the game, I'll, I'll kind of let, let the guy do what he wants to do just to see if I could figure him out. But once I thought I figured him out, he will pull something else out of his hat. Hmm. And then I'm like, this, yo, I know once I get on the court, I can't take this guy's position because he's going to start. But whoever was trying to get that next guard position was going to have to fight for it because I wasn't let, letting up. And hmm. I, I had to come to grips with reality. There, there was somebody better than me at the time. <laughs> <laughs> And and how do you feel like just seeing him present day? Like he's in phenomenal shape. He's play he's played in the big three. Like what is what goes through your mind when you're seeing him present day? Uh, in terms of like just I would, him actively I, playing, I, I wouldn't think nothing different of it. You know, because he was always that way, uh, self driven, self motivated. Uh, so me watching him play and seeing the shape that he's in, that was always my mood. Um, uh, he was that determined to, to be great. And, and now that I see him, not just on the court, just with his, uh, movement that he's having, um, you know, as far as with the Islamic, uh, movement, uh, talking to different organizations and, uh, going different countries speaking, I wouldn't think nothing different of it. That was him. Absolutely. He's an amazing ambassador to the game. Yes, uh, he is. I know he's super close with uh, one of his former teammates, Robert Pack. Uh, I've seen them connect up together present day you know, in terms of speaking functions and various things uh, through the NBA. And, you know, th- you look at the way the game is now for the NBA. This is like the perfect suited style he will fit. for his game. He will fit. He will fit in perfect with this with this new uh, era of basketball, um, to where it's not a a big man's game anymore. Uh, it's more of, of a guard's game and a shooter's game, and this he will fit perfectly in with it. Absolutely.